The following presentation is based on content from my new book, The Great Gold and Silver Rush of the 21st Century. To read the free online chapters or order the book, please go to ggsr21.com. Thanks. Years ago, back in uh, 2010, 2012, something like that, I came up with a presentation for, one, for my live pre stage presentations. And I would take this chart that starts back in 1895 and back then, you know, the chart stopped uh, somewhere around here. I've updated this and brought this out uh, so that I can put information all the way to today on it. Then I would bring in this uh, line of the price of a can of tomatoes, Campbell's tomato soup, and a gold coin because we were on the gold standard then. So under the gold standard, a can of tomato soup for more than 70 years just hung out right at around 10 cents per can. And then I would, uh, you know, I've got a little clicker on stage. I would put this circle with a slash through the gold for August 15th of 1971 when Nixon took us, unpe unpegged us from gold by ending the Bretton Woods system. And uh, that was the day we left gold. And then I would continue the chart and this would slowly wipe up and the price would climb and climb and climb. Uh, and it would stop in right about, you know, that was back here. Well, you, you see that the price goes from 10 to 20, so it doubles. To 40, it doubles again. To 80, it had, it had doubled three different times, and uh, now it has, uh, you know, almost doubled again. From 80 to 160 will be a, a double. But that was my presentation from years ago. When I was writing the book, I realized that this presentation wasn't done. I had only presenting ha presented half the presentation for all of those years. And I realized what I needed to do. This is the price of a can of soup. But what is the price of a dollar? People don't think about the price of your currency. What is the cost, the price of a dollar? Well, from the a grocery store, the merchant's perspective, from the grocery store's perspective, the price is how many cans of soup does it cost him to buy a dollar from you? So this is a great concept to start grasping. Uh, so how many cans of soup is the dollar worth? And to find that out, all I had to do was put this chart upside down and we had 10, uh, it was 10 cents for a can of soup. So that's 10 cans of soup for $1. And then here's the line where we left money and we transitioned to currency, national fiat currency. So this proves everything that I was claiming in chapter one. And you can see uh, the cost of a uh, buying $1 from the customer at a grocery store by paying for that dollar with soup, which is what the grocer is doing, has been falling and falling and falling. One dollar used to equal 10 cans of soup, and as soon as we left money and went on to national fiat currencies, that the, the cost of that dollar from the merchant's perspective has been going down and down and down, and now he can buy a can of, uh, he can buy a dollar from you with just two-thirds of a can of soup. So we have more than 70 years of data here where it was stable under precious metals standards and then the national fiat currency standard which by the way has also left us with this in this enormous national debt thanks for watching but this is by no means the whole story if you want the full story including my free online only chapters and companion videos there's a wealth of information at ggsr21.com thanks